Okay. Uh, let me let me put a tweet out for this. Submit a picture, but Meh. okay, I can't do that. Hiding hides the chat. Chat works. <sighs> okay, here's where I'm at. Um, I have kind of a rough pass at the different realms. Um, they're not all super differentiated or, um, you know, feel like a smooth, uh, progression yet. That's interesting. Um, And the one that I'm working on now is uh, I, should, I should probably turn on like a God mode or something. Um, the one that I was working on now is the one bit one. It's kind of the hardest one to to do. Um, I was originally going to do billboard sprites for these trees, but I uh, think um, I think I could do something that works um, using shaders. So this was kind of an attempt. Actually, let me see if that is a... Uh, that blurring thing, I think, is an artifact of the post effects, which I can probably turn off. Um, oh no. Wonder why it does that. Um, so I was testing a checkered pattern with a uh, kind of a fixed viewport texture rendering. Um, I'm not sure what's up with the uh, blurring, uh, but I don't think I'm going to go with that. I was going to try um, an outline and maybe a combination of outline with a, uh, a pattern that has more black. Um, and this guy comes. Um, so everything else is sort of not quite ready for the one bit world. Um, I'm trying to focus on trees because they're sort of like the biggest thing in the world to, to fix because um, there's really just trees. Um, I probably will do skulls as billboards because most of the time they're looking at you or looking away so that'll be pretty easy. I can just outline a pixelated version of them. Um, so I was going to try an outline. Uh, let's do that. Actually got um, an an outline shader I liked. I've seen them before. Not this one. Um, uh, what's it called? Vectorish. Vector ish. 
is going on? Alright, just show me all my damn packages. Alright, don't show me. Vectrosity. What the hell? What's with these Unity packages? Oh, I guess is that a way to like... Yeah, what the hell does that do? Yeah, super weird. If you want to use DLL. Uh huh. Okay, this is, that's very strange, but import. How do you import it? I never had to do this, this seems kind of dumb. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Okay, can do arbitrary lines, it's cool. Oh, is it not gonna do a uh, mesh outline? I kinda thought it was gonna do that. This is cool though. <laughs> this is helpful. Uh -huh. Mesh on your scene. Choose line maker. Place the age vertex. Uh -huh. Interesting. All right, well, that looks cool. Once I can figure out how to fucking install this stupid thing. Is this what it wants me to do? Okay, so now we have it. What is this? Um, so that's actually good, um, because I can leave this as it is, um, kind of experiment. Okay. 
Okay, we've got a mesh. And then what did it say to do? Line maker. Everybody put something somewhere different. Hmm. Hmm. So this would create um, 3D lines, which you know. This works for certain things. Um, I'm not sure it's going to work for this. I think I actually do want that outline shader. Let's look at that fucking outline shader. Although I could use this because I'm sure it does outlines. You would always, I don't actually want all those. Nope. Yeah, Paul, that's fine. Jesus. Can't, can't use Unity. It's always a shade of error. <sighs> right, Dad, to figure out how to use this stupid thing. Okay, read me. It's empty. Okay, maybe not. Okay, so this is pretty crazy. Um, why not mobile? I don't actually want it to cast a shadow. It wasn't before and that was pretty cool. Oh, is this a shadow? Just let me change the color. No, oh, 
alpha. Okay, this is not the shadow I thought it was. I want to turn off that damn shadow. Just to make sure. Yeah. Uh, Unlit doesn't cast a shadow. Why can't, why does this have to cast a shadow? Let's try desktop. Maybe I've got more options. I mean, I'm working with black, so I'm not sure what. Let's see this damn outline. White, of course. Oh, it's going to have to be bigger than that. Constant size. Hmm. No. Tangents. I'll do this. What does blended look like? Well, it's casting a shadow. But is there some way to like <sighs> to examples? I think there's a separate tool that would let me generate these. Um, that'd be kind of nice because then I can turn off the shadow shit. Um, let's see what a rim does. Okay, no, no rim. I don't think I want any of this. I mean, it's good to know it's there, but. Uh, let me look at this. So it would be in this mode, it needs a much bigger outline. But it could work. Change the outline here. Oh, I'm gonna regret not having a god mode. What are these lines outside of the Oh, I'm changing. Oh, it's giving an outline of the landscape too. Um, so this is interesting. The outline size that I need.
Hmm. Can I go more? What does this look like out here? Blended? Is that any different looking? Doesn't look any different. I guess that there's only other black and white things. Uh, okay, that doesn't look great. Crazy. I mean, I don't. Something like that. Is it? Why are there like two thingies? Take the post effects off. So that's actually player. Yeah, it's just not. Making out things big enough. So I like color. Doesn't seem to change anything. I guess not for the outline. Um, wrapped lighting. Most of these have nothing to do with the outline. <laughs> I mean, it's smaller widths. No, it's still doing those. Yeah, the bigger it is. See, that's a pretty good outline, but it is not. Line I'm looking for. It's not thick enough. I 
I mean, I could try going up, uh... Up to four. Let's check it. So it'll be pixelated the same amount. Oh, I should. <laughs> I do sort of have God mode. I can um, change my health level. <sighs> I need to do that. Like that. Alright, let's mess with this again. At a distance, it flickers. And then there's gaps. And close up, it does not look good. Damn it. Um, okay, now I don't want to zoom. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, I'm curious how this will look with a texture. Yeah, not like that. <sighs> then also have an outline. What is this outline? 16. Let's go with an even 16. Um, blended. I mean, it's got breaks, but maybe those won't show up very well. well I guess I can kind of correct them. Um, I highlight shadow. I guess if I make these all the same, oh, this is interesting now. No real ramp to let's see how it looks in there. Oh, they all need to be unlit. Hmm. Uh, 
maps with um, a fixed color palette. This could look pretty good. I guess I can try that. Color map. Ooh, do I already have two colors? Two colors, right? Hard white. Although maybe a tint would be better, but. All right, let's see this. Black and white. Hmm. Yeah, that checker pattern. Goals one. It's the meta game I had to play while making this game. <sighs> I mean, I guess this is good enough, right? If I was going for good enough, I could do like a pattern that's. Um, has more black. Actually, actually, that might look pretty good. Looks shitty far away, but everything looks shitty far away. And up close, looks pretty good. This guy, though. Well, it's complaining. Um. Yeah, different pattern. I don't think it needs to be so fucking huge. Let's do something like... Pattern's not even a full pixel pattern. All right, let's. 
Let's get low res. Oh, I did say four by four. Um, okay, well, we'll do this then. Where are we? Where are we in this project? When was the last time were we in that project? It can't keep up. Sure, it's not really checkers anymore, but. Yeah, I'm gonna need to fix a few things. Point. Actually, that's all fine. I need to change the. Um... Like a huge number. Oh god, it is. Oh, and I wanted it black, mostly black. Yeah, like the inverse of that. Easy. Easy. Uh, go away. Please don't bother me again. Okay, it looks like shit until we get here. Yes. Oh, fuck. If I turn god mode on, I can't switch between the realms. Just have to get better at going that way. And from a distance, it looks like garbage. But maybe that's fine. It's really interesting how source material is so different than the final output. Like with audio and uh, visual effects and uh, game graphics programming, right? It's like you wouldn't expect that this is what made that because you're like, what? But gone through some filters and shit. I don't know. Wish I had some feedback.
but good. Good enough is really what I'm looking for. I guess I guess this is fine. The fucking game jam game. <laughs> This is good enough. This is this is a for a game jam game. This is a great 3D one bit tree. Um, I am gonna have to do some changes to all the tree models. Um, doing it this way might actually mean I can put some other stuff uh, around. So it's not just trees, but I think that's kind of a final polish push. I don't know, when I work on this stuff, I'm like, I'll just like look at it and think and imagine. It's really kind of obnoxious because I feel like I'm not just getting things done. Um, but a lot of time, good ideas happen um during this part but there's no reason i oh yeah i like this platform i think i like this pixel size too um i can do the line mesh stuff on him Ooh. They look pretty good, forest of black and white. Let me see that again. I mean, they could probably do some touch-ups, but I'm kind of surprised how, how good they look, right? Ah, it's all over. Okay, I'm gonna have some busy work pretty soon because I need to, uh, for all the trees, I actually need to do what I did for this one, which was separate the, uh, the uh, leaves from the trunk which I had to do by selecting all the faces um, twice. Uh, I guess I also need to come up with a way to switch out the Oh, I guess I can tag them, right? This is a tree, this is Trio 2. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna have to remake these trees. Okay, let's keep this one. 
supply. Is that going to save it to this guy? And then, uh, I guess I need to make a new prefab. Cool, I can use the layers. I guess it's the only one. Let me do a quick um, comparison of the others, see if I can think of some major differences between the trees that I would want to do. Um, it would be nice if I could get them, just import them with uh, smooth normals so they don't look faceted here, but then they look faceted here. That would be great. And then this is sort of Maybe I want to roll the fog back a little more or, or change to uh, exponential squared. Um, because yeah, I turn the I turn the directional light off in this one and so then they look like solid colors um, it's kind of a cool look um, I just wonder if they would benefit from outlines because then it would be a little bit more consistent with the other one too something coming up that I'm not doing when I come down. Yeah, hopefully changing the, uh, the normal stuff, making them less faceted will be a big change between these two because the trees don't seem to change between these two and I'd like everything to change a little. Um, and of course, this is a big fucking change. <sighs> what I want it do outlines on just the trunks or outlines seems like outlines on the leaves would be cool This will definitely be a lot faster than, uh... Oh, shit. Oh. A lot 
lot faster uh, than doing sprites for all of these, I think. I'm always going to go the wrong way and like put it right into the... Uh... See, I don't know if it should look like this. Or if it should look like this. I think it should look like this. Yeah, what is the difference here? Is it the light? This turns the light on. The light's on now, so it's something else. Why isn't this accurately reflecting the state of the scene's lighting? I'm not sure what it's doing going from here to here versus here to here. Okay, so. Uh, I want, what realm is this? Three to two. Four, one to two as well. Uh, I want to try and do uh, smooth trees for one. Uh, exponential squared fog in two. Maybe roll back. Shorter far clip in three. And um, outlines. I guess they would look more like sprites. They look like this guy. In any one position, it kind of looks like a sprite. Um, I think it'll look even better because of the, um, the solid colors. Like if I do not like a black or white outline, um, but actual just like darker color outline. Um, it would be pretty good. Ooh, maybe if I did the, um, the dots here as well. So that you can more easily see the, uh, uh, though this, you can see the faceted ground better than this. Oh, you can still see it. Um, I could probably put the tune shader on this and, and make the shadows darker. Um, that would be good. 
Let's see. Man, and I would love to kind of have a combo of both here. It's weird that it seems darker just because it's a darker gray. And yeah, definitely needs that uh, squared fog. And uh, whatever this is. And then, yeah, this is pretty unfunctional <sighs> with the um, color map on currently. I guess I could do this in the meantime, just to like, oh, that's interesting. Okay, where were my things? Figure out what's going on with the three to two. Uh, light is enabled. Ambient mode is skybox. Ambient mode is flat. Ambient mode is flat. So here I'm disabling the terrain. Is it background color and clip plane? No. Pretty much. I can't seem to make out the difference.
that you'd have going from one to two versus three to two. It's enabled. Alright. I don't know what that is, but... <sighs> Fog... Set this one to just exponential. Does three have fog? They're also going to be squared then. And you have no fog. Order for our clip in three. I'll have to play with that. That's very weird. Okay, that's squared. This is exponential. That's linear. This one, what is my clip? Might be getting the wrong camera. I know I want its mode to be different. Um, and for some reason, it's not really getting set. Uh, 
fog and distance would be 256. This can stay the same. Hmm. I guess it's the amount that makes a big difference. I don't know, I'll try this. Why is there a particle system? Oh, whoops. Okay, this is better. Two hundred. Two hundred. So, about the same view distance, it just is like more dramatic. And I'm clearly more demade looking. Uh, I guess the outlines will make them look like less blobs too. I feel like this could benefit from the tune shader as well, maybe?
kind of a cool inverse of color values. Back background is light, foreground is kind of dark, and then here the background is dark and the foreground is light. Um, which probably is a good way to differentiate it. It's going to do tune and shading. And then maybe I can do that instead of an outline. And then this would have an outline. All right, let me. I need two train points. This one is color. No, not at all. Please undo. Dust mats. <sighs> Public game object. Outside the terrain points. Nope. This one, train points, color, test. So all these can do dust set act. Have their own value for dust.
and uh, terrain points here. Okay, so the train points are going to be the wrong color, but we can try a color. Still got some dust, just barely. That's interesting. Our resolution drops quite a bit of uh, hilliness. I guess that makes sense. Um, Collider is also up there. I can certainly try and use this. different uh okay i think i only have, want to have one resolution of uh low poly terrain oh, you know what it might be the random height changing thing. They all have slightly different heights. That's probably a big part of it. Also, where the fuck are all of them? Oh, I guess it's coming up. Okay. So we're just hidden. Um, Particles, shape, maybe use mesh colors. Oh, they've already been spotted, I guess, right? Well, it should be green. What else? I guess we can see how that looks. Should be a little brighter, don't you think? Uh, 
That's not good. I just want to see them with a lighter green. Yeah, like that. Cool. Dumbest drop. This gives me percentages. Damn. I told it to hold it. Okay. Oh, because the, uh, the location is different. It's almost the same. Do I want brighter or do I want darker? I think brighter. Give me bright. Yeah, there's a lot to do. I have to fix the uh, terrain set it's using because they're all fucked up. Blend is kind of cool. Kinda. Um. Sh 
shorter for a quick thing. Uh, do we want to pull it in more? Oh, I guess so, huh? Where's that camera? Two hundred, like the fog. I'll try it. Um, actually, it's funny. I'm not sure these. Two. Okay, let's try and get the um, these terrains consistent. I forget the point of this one was to have a different resolution because I kind of regret that. Oh, there's no y, random Y offset. The resolution is going to change how many there are. Okay, well, we do want to make this. The same as the other one. And then I could do this for this one. There will be less in there, but then there will be more when it's black and white. That should work. Nicely. Let's see how that worked out. Oh, I probably have to reselect their, their meshes though. Yeah. Low poly points. Which one? Hmm. Because I have the same name. Low, low poly points. Uh, terrain. Color points. Generate it. And then BW points. And uh, 
more points. Hey. These are the same. I'll leave it. Should change. Create a new material. So that this can go back to. hidden. Oh, it is generating them. Black, of course. No fucking highlights. This shit's black. Um, yeah, that's it. And this can go back to being unlit. Yes. But of course. That means changing this material to black outline. Um, all right, things should be a little better now. Yeah, there's less points. seem to mostly actually it's hard to tell if they're all a little bit higher I think I made them higher so I can make them lower again yeah terrain points point 25 huh No, down. Hmm. I think that's cutting some of them, but... Cool. I don't know, I feel like they should be, um... Maybe darker. And lighter in this one. even a little bigger. I don't know, they were darker before.
Yeah, if they're maybe they should be dark because they look like they're something if they're brighter. They should look like they're nothing. Also, that needs to spawn much faster. Come on. It's like too dark. I think they need to be roughly the same color. How do I get that color? Seventeen, thirty-nine, twenty-seven. Didn't change it because it would need to spawn them again, so stop, set it. That's the same color. Um I guess we'll just go a little bit darker. a little lighter. It's a little darker. That's pretty good. Let me change this though.
Um, actually, it's kind of sad that there would only be this is, is kind of the only one with uh, the faceted look. Hmm. Trying to decide if I like this look um, in the higher resolutions. Now obviously you can see all the errors of the effect. Um, definitely it seems like the lower um, I feel like the texture needs to be either bigger or smaller. I think doing a dark vignette, maybe not uh, red, but like a dark, a black vignette. Uh, I don't know. Okay. So that was fixed. Still need to smooth trees for a clip for three. That worked. to do shit <sighs> tree groups with layers which has uh Oh, 
line in three. Dark outlines. Uh, try tune shader and two. Uh, if it's a boss world, I'm gonna have to do some changes to the fog. Basically just change them all to black, I guess. Change all of the background to black. Hmm. It's weird that it gets brighter before it gets darker. But I mean, that's, you know, retro stuff was more colorful or making it more vibrant makes it feel more retro. You can also lighten these in post effects. Yeah, I'll just have to mess with the colors. Make that dust bigger. Okay, well at least the terrain I think is, is like good enough for now and I can focus on the trees. Um, I'm gonna take a break though. I was gonna change the dust. Double it. Yeah, now they're more noticeable.
we'll see. This whole idea is probably going to be really dumb. I guess I could do some post effects. On the main camera as well. Post processing. Saturation now. What kind of dithering? Nothing to configure my ass. bright colors so and is that the only thing that would do it That screw too crazy. It's probably as far as we could push it. In a way, the bloom should not be in this one.
it's sort of making a contrast. It doesn't help with those uh, darker colors. So I don't know. Not even noticeable. Well, I, I would say this is more pleasing. In fact, uh, I'm sort of confused why it looks like that because <laughs> I remember it looking this gross. Um, so this is definitely good. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, take a break. I'll be back uh, in a bit to work on all the trees. <laughs> 